Hi, this is Cordelia. I get questions a lot from people who are not necessarily in e-commerce. How, I, I have an idea for a product, what do you think? So I wanted to show you how to use Amazon to do a little bit of research for a product idea. Whether you wanna sell it on Amazon or not, it's a good way to get a sense of the marketplace and what's out there. So somebody asked me, they were thinking about making leather bracelets. Um, that was something they could make at home and they really like them. And so I want to demonstrate with that. So first of all, when you start typing the word into Amazon, it does something called auto populate, which means it's suggesting what it thinks you're looking for. Now, in this case, I'm actually using a Chrome extension called the Amazon Suggestion Expander, which is free. The Amazon Suggestion Expander. And so there's even more suggestions. But even without that, you will get sort of like a drop down list of suggestions. So the first thing you want to do is see what comes up. That's things people are typing into Amazon. And so it gives you like a little hint about what people want. So I'm going to put in leather brace. As soon as I type the leather bracelet for men comes up. Okay, so now what am I going to look for here? There are some leather bracelets for men. Um, the couple things to notice. First thing is, uh, in the upper left-hand corner, it's going to tell you how many results there are for your search. And so in this case, the results are over 8,000, which is kind of a lot. <laughs> there are some searches which have over 50,000 results. Um, so in general, if I was gonna sell something on Amazon, I would look for something that had less than 4,000 results at the most. Um, but this one has eight. So that tells you there's a lot of other people selling it and it might be saturated. Um, the next thing I would look for is um, these are going to auto. Now, I have a bunch of um, industry tools and stuff, so your, your screen will not look like mine. <laughs> but um, if you want to um, see some of these things, you, you just have to click into the listing to see it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to ignore these sponsored results. Um, people paid to be there, and so it's not an accurate representation of what the market wants. So next, you're going to want to look at the first few organic listings, the ones that are not sponsored. Now, I have an extension which shows me a lot of data uh, without me having to click into the listing, but you can find all this data out without having the extension. Um, so for example, this first listing is actually for 12 bracelets for $13. Um, now the rank, every listing on Amazon has a rank. Um, this one, sorry, this one has a rank of 29,000. So that's pretty good. Uh, the lower the number, the better. Pretty much anything under 100,000 is pretty good. That's a super generalization, but um, gives you an idea. So if you like want to make leather bracelets at home, now you can see what you're up against. Um, you can see, or if you want to buy them wholesale or whatever, you can see that they're selling. Now, once you get beyond that first listing with the 12 bracelets for $13, you start to see bracelets where the price goes up a little bit to into the 20s, 17, but still the price is really low. Um, and so and these are, I mean, like, I think these are nice looking bracelets. Now you may tell me that yours are sustainably sourced and vegan or, well, they won't be leather bracelets if they're vegan, but they're sustainably sourced and they're ethically produced and all the people that work there get paid a livable wage. Um, the problem is that on online, if you're trying to sell these things online, a lot of people are not necessarily searching for that. So like this one has like a little tree of life and this one has like a cross. So those are kind of things that people are looking for. So anyway, this is a set of, this has 28 pieces and it's 21 dollars 
So to me, this tells me that at least for online sales, probably leather bracelets aren't the best way to go. Or if I was going to do it, I'm going to have to work really hard on my off Amazon marketing to get, um, to get, you know, placed and noticed here. But it also just gives you a sense of what people are buying and what they're expecting to pay. Um, okay, so that's that. Um, okay, and then let's look up another one. Let's say that you want to create a, uh, a crystal um, pendant. And you want to, with wire, you want to make it with wire wrapped around it. So I just did that. What do we have here? We have over 2,000 results, um, which is less than the last one. So that's good. Um, and then we can look at the, the top results here in the search and see that, um, again, we see the price point here. You know, 13, 12, oh, these are sponsored, sorry. You want to go down here. But you 12, 17, and you're getting multiples for, you know, $28. You're getting four different pendants. Um, now, one thing I think is interesting is that if you look at these results already by like the, there's things in the results that aren't what we're looking for, which tells you that maybe that there's even less than 2000 because Amazon can't find enough things that are like that. Um, but, and you can also see the ranks. So this one's ranked, you know, 800,000, which means it's really not popular at all. This one's ranked 32,000. So again, this just gives you a good market overview. So if you are like this pretty tree of life one, which I've seen a lot of places, selling for $15. So just keep that in mind uh, as a way to do product research. And then if you, if you have an idea for a product, another place you can look is Etsy. Um, so let's do the same searches here. So I'm gonna do a leather bracelet, and it has the same auto-populate. This one, we're just gonna do leather bracelet men's. And now Etsy doesn't have rank. Um, it has reviews. So um, the way that you can tell if something's popular-ish, it's a little bit more, it's not quite as, um, as clear as rank, but Let's take a look at this first listing with this personalized leather bracelets. You can see, uh, for some reason, my Etsy thinks I'm in England because of my virtual private network. So just ignore that all the prices are in pounds. But um, you can see that this, this listing has over 4,000 reviews. That's really good. Now, it's actually this shop, not that particular listing. These are all sponsored results. So let's skip ahead to the non-sponsored ones, but still, um, now these are personalized leather bracelets. So you may say like, huh, that's interesting. Like the price point a 22, in this case euros, but even if it was dollars is a much better price point for me. So maybe what I need to do is sell customized leather bracelets and not just really cool looking ones that aren't customized. Um, and so you have adjustable. And so people are doing things to make them like a little bit more appealing. Um, and a little bit more relevant to the customer. So this just shows you, like this one right here, it shows you that only has 162 reviews. So like, I like that one, but that one is not nearly as popular as this one here, which has 2000 reviews. So this is just another way to get a general idea of what's happening in the marketplace for your product idea. So let's take a look at our um, crystal pendant with wire. I'll just put that in, okay, with wire. So uh, once again, we have, um, we have some pretty good results. That, that's what I had in mind was this kind of wire wrapped crystal pendant. Um, but you can see like this one, um, this listing here is 10 pieces and it's 20 euros. So, but look, it has 70, almost 70,000 reviews. Um, and this one here, it's only $3 or three euros has 5,000. 
So what does this tell me? That this product is popular, but the price point, what people are expecting to pay is so low that I don't want to be in there because I don't really want to sell anything for three dollars. Um, so anyway, that's just some, some basic product research methodology, whether you want to sell this stuff online or at a, a craft show or um, in your shop or in your home for friends or whatever. Um, this is a really good way to just get an idea of what's out there, what people are willing to pay and what people are thinking the value of your product is. Um, now, if you have like an ethically sourced crystal and the wire has been charged by the sacred moon, new moon or whatever, just keep in mind that all that kind of story about your product is probably not going to be able to be told online in, in a marketplace like Etsy or Amazon. You're going to have to have your own way of featuring the, the story behind that to get the price point up. Like, let's say you wanted to sell one for $20 because of its super awesome special crystal qualities. Um, that's a whole nother sales process. So again, not necessarily mean you don't wanna do it, but it's just a good way to understand pretty cheaply and freely what's happening in the marketplace. All right, please um, reach out to me. I am on Instagram at Cordelia Blake or uh, follow, subscribe, and comment with your experience and your product ideas. And if you'd like some help, taking a look at that and see what you think.